Dun, 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 dun. The Chili Review! Yeah. Dun, 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 the Chili Review! Greetings everyone. So I'm back for another review. Uh, inspired completely from yesterday's review from uh, Danny and Andy with the Hurt Berry. That was sensational, lads. I have to give you another big shout out for that. Um, that was a super hot pod, and I, no doubt uh, that you guys would have absolutely been lit up and felt that, and, and we did see it. But again, mate, big uh, big round of applause because that was not uh, easy to do, especially when you don't eat chilies at all. Um, I'll walk around and pick them off the bush and eat them, so there's a tolerance that I've got. But those guys would hardly even eat anything really spicy, so um, credit to them. But I'm here today to review another chili that started to ripen my plant, and it's the Dorset Naga Orange. It's a little bit right up the sun there, if you, oh, it's hard to sort of see, sorry guys. Um, yeah, really nice colour pod, just a nice orange. Let's see if I can get a shade a bit better, yeah. Not bad sized pods, so there's still uh, a few bigger ones on there, but they're not ripe. Um, I'm pretty keen to try it, I've never had these before, so. Um, the Nagas usually have a bit of heat, so I'm expecting a bit of berm. But overall, flavor, but not to expect really, probably Naga or so, maybe a bit fruity. Yeah, there's a bit of moisture on there. So, wow, okay, let's have a look here. Okay. Oh, it's got that smell. Not a lot of placenta though. Some would be happy with that. It's a bit hard to see. Um, and yeah, so it should be um, a pretty interesting. Oh, here's the uh, little fella. G'day, mate. You're going to have some uh, some Dorset Naga orange today? No? All right. Thank Dad's going to do it. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, I think the uh, the Scoville on these ones here are around about a million, somewhere in there, 900,000 to a million, but they can get hotter from what I've I've read. Okay, yep, that's not going to be very hot. I'd rather probably be doing that sometimes than this, but I'm going to give it a go. That's probably the biggest pot I've got out of all of them. So I'm just going to chomp it down, give it a go, tell you what I think. Chili review. Fruity and heat. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> this guy, the Hitler. If only he knew. <laughs> Get out of it, son. <laughs> oh, yeah, a bit of heat. Beautiful flavour. Um, it's got that naga sort of tone, uh, like sort of tone to it, but it's got um, a nice, real crisp heat. And what I'm also finding with it, it's got a bit of a fruity. There's a bit of bitterness to it. I do find with some of the nagas, you'll get a little bit of bitterness with that. That's the heat, I reckon, more than anything. But there is a fruity sort of note to it. Definitely hot in the throat, mate. Come on, buddy. Let's get here. He'll be on there soon, don't you worry. Dad can't wait till when you're ready to start eating some chilies. I might have a chili for him. I've got a um, a uh, Thunder Mountain Longhorn. One of those massive, massive ones. I might give it to him to do. Um, back of the mouth. Tongue's all right at the moment. Back of the mouth though, and the back of the tongue on each side, really hot, <laughs> really hot. Ooh. Wow, yeah, I, like, I really like them. That's the first time I've ever had one of these before. Um, they, they would actually be awesome as a powder. I made, um, Oh, it's, there's some serious heat. It's, it's a creeper. It was it was hot pretty much after the first couple of bites into it. I knew here we go, but then now now it's um, 
is sort of radiating from the back of the throat to the front of the mouth, which is um, yeah, probably pretty um, pretty true to most of the uh, really quite hot ones. Don't be silly, mate. Come on. Come on. Don't be silly. Dad's uh, struggling here, mate. I don't need you to be heckling me at the same time. But, um, oh, tongue's on fire now. Absolutely on fire. Gee, there is a bit of warmth in that one. Beautiful flavour though. It's still got a nice, there's still a nice flavour over the top of that, but that heat is breaking through. Um, so I was just saying, I made some really good um, powder with Trinidad Scorpion Cardis. And um, they were awesome, awesome for dried flakes on everything. These I reckon will be uh, the next lot I do. So that's pretty, um, pretty impressive. Yeah, definitely got a pretty wicked heat now, man. My whole mouth's on a little bit hard to talk. Um, oh, all over mouth burn now. Oh, yuck. Oh. Sorry, guys. Yep, that's hot. That's definitely a hot one. I'd probably have that around about the 7 out of 10 for me. I would definitely not say that I'm a, I'm a, a you know, massive tolerance of heat. The hurt berry I did yesterday would have been about a, a 9. Um, but that's got a really nice, actually nice warmth th uh, throat burn. Tommy, please, mate. Stop it. Thomas. I want to leave. Tell you what. Um, kids, mate, they do the darndest things. Now I'm on fire here, guys. I'm, uh, I'm I'm struggling a little bit. Beautiful throat burn, but mouth is uh, electric. It is a bit of a prickly uh, burn. Um, it's definitely like um, like a, the the taser effect. All over mouth burn, absolutely. Oh, oh, that's just picked up. Oh, that's um. It's like I had a second wave of heat, actually. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Wow, there you go. Well, that's, um, that's definitely, um, that's been a, yeah, that's definitely lit up. That's, that's come out hotter later as well. It was hot early. Uh, even the back of the throat now, not in the, but at the back of the top of the throat. On fire. Wow. That's a pretty potent chili. Pretty cool, guys. Um, I've got a whole heap more on there, so I reckon I'm going to, um, I'm going to go for uh, powders. Um, even, a, I mean, even sauces. I mean, it's just a matter of what you want to get out of it as well. Um, I like the dried powders um, and adding it to like jerky, making up jerky, and then and then coating it with that, you know, that sort of chili. That sort of chili there with some really nice beef jerky, or even some of Woz's camel jerky. Um, that would be sensational. So, um, awesome. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. That's um, pretty hot. Um, it's leveling out a little bit now, but uh, the throat there's still at the back of the throat. That's that's hasn't let up too much. The tongue's not too bad. It's just a real burn, a real prickly burn, but it's it's manageable. Didn't really get that real hardcore throat burn that I hate that I, I get with sometimes with the um I, I've had with the chocolate uh, scorpion last season. That one there was that um, hardcore throat burn. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good, guys. So there we have it. The old. Na, uh, Dorset Naga Orange. Um, I just want to also, a uh, bit of a shout out, guys. If you like your chili stuff and you want to get onto some uh, chili channel on Facebook with um, a whole heap of people that know what they're talking about, there's a whole lot of good stuff happening there as well on there. Uh, big shout out to Nathan. And uh, he's one of the uh, uh, admins at uh, Chili Nation. So check out Chili Nation on Facebook, guys. Um, if you, you know anything chilies there, absolutely is one of the best places to go to on that one there. Um, very welcoming uh, group of people as well. 
it's good to have the chili community all support each other. We all do a pretty um, unique thing. Not uh, everyone could do it, but not everyone can. That's what I like to say about eating chili, especially like these straight off the plant. Um, but it's uh, it's a real good way to to, uh, to 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 know that you're alive because it really makes you feel alive at the time that you're eating it. I've just burnt my eye now. I've got some of me on my finger now. My eyes absolutely canning. So. Um, yeah, so check out Chili Nation, uh, guys, if you want to do that. Um, but overall, um, I'll give that uh, a big thumbs up. I really like that pod, and I'm going to have another one uh, later on just to, to um, you know, really get the uh, what I'm going to use it for. I think um, powder for sure, and I might even look at a sauce. So that's it, mate. I think we'll uh, we'll call it a, a review there. Um, any final words, Thomas? Yeah. Any final words? What do you want to say? Yeah. You gonna say chili review? Yeah. How do you do it? Chili review. Yeah. All right. So he's got stage right now when the camera goes on him. But anyway, guys, as we always say, the chili review. Love them, grow them, respect them. Most importantly, get them in the air. Peace out, chili review.